So for this next image, here's the before and after. We're going to take an image that's not even in Camera Raw, but we're going to use Camera Raw to turn it into what I'm going to call a fake HDR image. So if you take a look at the detail in the, in the final image, um, you can see very clearly that we've got kind of a painterly look. This is what most people would probably consider a little bit overprocessed. Sometimes it's a little bit fun. HDR pictures can be done all different kinds of ways, but here's just one. So you start off with a photograph that usually is like high metallic, lots of color, lots of contrast. And you open up in, ca in Camera Raw by either right-clicking and choosing Open in Camera Raw, or by Command R, Command or Control R. In Camera Raw, I'm going to take basically everything that you see here, recovery, fill light, the blacks, the brightness, the contrast, everything far to the right, clarity, vibrance, and you can kind of see this picture is getting way out of control. You might come back just a little bit on the saturation and see how that looks for you. Now I'm going to zoom in to 100% so we can really get a full idea of what this is going to look like. Pretty sharp and crunchy. So here's the trick. Hit the detail sliders and bring the sharpening even higher. Now we're starting to get a lot of noise and information in here. Here's the cool part. If you adjust the luminance over a little bit and the color over a little bit, it smooths out all of those wrinkles and the, the detail that looks so crunchy and perhaps not so good in the end. Simply hit open image. It'll open it up, process it, and you have an image that looks like an HDR over processed, but it looks almost like a painting as well. That's it. And there you go.